Holding, holding, sets, throws, passes. Oh, Henry. Down the side of the 35-20. Hey, it's Will Henry. I'm with the Nebraska Football Show, and I'm one-on-one -on -one with Coach Gilmore. Coach, how's the receivers play this season been? Well, I, I tell you what, Will, there's been some good efforts. Obviously, we've done a good job of competing, and uh, when the opportunity presents itself, we've got to be ready to go, obviously, in the passing game. But the one thing I am, I'm pleased with, with all the explosion plays, that means someone's doing a good job of blocking on the perimeter. Coach, what kind of role in the offense do you think the receivers take this season? Well, Will, as you know, uh, I challenge you guys all the time to become complete receivers, whether we're running the ball or whether we're passing the ball. You know, whatever the game dictates, uh, we got to be ready to, to come through. we got to be ready to do our job. And as things has went to this point, uh, obviously we've done more blocking and passing, but when the opportunity presents itself to pass, we got to be ready to do that also. What are your expectations for the rest of the season? Well, we got to get better every single ball game. There's always opportunities to improve. You know, we've done a great job of blocking, but the one good thing I think we can improve on is backside. There's got to be more cut opportunities backside. And we've got to be willing to throw, as you know. I mean, we've got to get more effort doing that, and, and we just got to continue. We can't be satisfied. Each ball game, we've got to continue to work hard and push ourselves every day in practice. What are some of those things we need to accomplish as a receiver group to get those things done? Well, the thing we got to continue to do is push, push each other in practice. We always talk about creating competition in every single spot. And the thing we got to do in, in practice is, is, is we got to put our work on film. If we do it in practice, we're going to do it in the ball game. So that's our challenge that we got to do those things in practice. And, and so it becomes a part of our bloodstream and we can do it on game day. So what do you look for in a receiver? Well, first and foremost, when I watch tape, I want to be able to watch a guy and say, you know what, this guy likes football. And I want to see a guy that's going to compete, once again, in all areas. You know, obviously, if you're a big body guy, you got to be a good route runner. you got to know how to use your body. Your catching radius has to be a full comfort. You've got to be able to catch the ball no matter where it's at because you're not running away from everybody. And if you're a separation guy, you got to be able to create, create separation, whether it's by foot speed or foot quickness. And, and those are the things we look for when we evaluate the tape. Huskers have it at their own 33 after this spot in the play. Martinez rolls to the near side, looking to throw, launches a pass down field, complete McNeil, 40, 30, he's off to the races, 20, 15, 10, he's caught, knocked down around the three-yard line. Back in your heyday, do you think you're fast enough to beat me on the field in a foot race? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely, no question about it. Oh, like I said, goodness. I mean, and, and in fact, I'm 43 years of age, and I tell you what, if you give me a five-yard head start, I'd beat you for 20. I will take that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Well, you know, there's this rumor going around, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm trying to figure out why do they call you Avatar? This is something that Tim Marlowe and Steve Osborne started just because they saw the movie and apparently the avatars are really tall and they're always running everywhere and I mean they're slender so apparently they think I'm like an avatar and also they say I have 2010 vision so they think that's something that would be like an avatar I guess. Brandon Kenny set to the near side, Niles Paul to the far side, snap back to Cody Green, steps up, looks, guns, pass, headed toward the end zone, Niles Paul, it's a catch, touchdown Nebraska, Cody Green puts up with Niles Paul, six more points on the board for the Big Red. Thanks for joining us, I'm Will Henry here with Coach Gilmore, and please tune in next week.